Hey besties, so for today's video what I am gonna be doing is I'm gonna be trying to build a like blush aesthetic e-house on Roville. So that's really like dude, not my aesthetic. That's not something I would normally do. I kind of do more realistic aesthetic builds. I don't know why I'm in build mode right now. So today I'm gonna be building a blush aesthetic e home. I really don't see these in Roville. Like I don't see tours of them. I don't see them on the marketplace. But they're like everywhere on Bloxburgs. And I'm guessing a lot of people like this style. So I'm gonna be trying to build one today for y'all. It'll just be a small home because I don't want this to take a million years. You know, I don't want this video to be like a million years long. But yeah, I think this is gonna be a little bit of more of a chill video. I think I'm just gonna talk about stuff while I'm building. Cause I've got some kind of funny stories for y'all today. But before I start, if you're wondering why I'm dressed like this, I look like I'm about to travel to Antarctica or something, but I saw this like fluffy neck thing. I thought it was just like for a cute fur coat. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm pretty sure it was for fur suits. I refuse to seek defeat and not wear this, so I am looking like I'm traveling Antarctica today. But anyways, let's just get into build mode. So these houses normally have like tons of whites and pinks and stuff like that and linens and those colors. So I think that is what I'm going to try to do today. I think I'll just do a basic a little suburban house. I don't think it'll be too expensive. Ooh, I don't know why my voice is shaking today, but this is what I am going to be doing. I was gonna have like a suburban house like tutorial on my channel and I think that will be coming up pretty soon and oop, it's getting dark. That's like the worst time. Oop, I just banged my water bottle. But that is the worst time to build. So this is gonna be annoying, but I was going to make a like suburban tutorial home on my channel and I think it will come out soon. It's just such a messy tutorial and I think I'll need to like re-record some things or something like that. It was so messy. I was trying to teach how to do the floor plan and then literally couldn't do it. So. The video is a mess, but anyways, let's just start with this build because you know that's what the video is about. I think I'm just gonna do a really basic shape for this home. Is okay, I got the basic shape down. I'm thinking this is looking cute. This is a really good base for the home, I guess. Are people fighting outside my house again? Anyways, so um, the coloring and like the detailing, that is when stuff will get interesting. So I will just skip to then. And now someone is mowing the lawn outside. Um, okay, I'm sorry. I hope y'all can't hear that, but I am done with the basics of the home. This is kind of weird of like a shape, but I think it's cute. I like it. This overhang, um, kind of weird, but oh well. So that doesn't really matter. What matters is this home is really blush -y. so like if you look at these homes you can see blush youtuber like blush builders normally build with like lots of traditional windows tons of white in their builds use a lot of linen outside and stuff like that so that is what i am gonna try to do to make this really accurate i guess i don't know so i'm gonna start off with these white trims and hope that start makes a and hope that makes it look a little more aesthetic Okay, I'm back. I got a little snack and they are still mowing the lawn, I think. Um, but the basic details of this house are done. Kind of not. I didn't do the basic details. Literally, all I did was the trim and a little path. But I got a little bit done off camera, I guess. But now, I think a lot of aesthetics houses, a lot of aesthetic houses have like stone paths. So I'm going to make a little cute stone path to make my build a bit more aesthetic. Two thousand years later this path looks so dumb oh my gosh but it's aesthetic -y, so i guess it's fine i'm just gonna start working on more details and once like i get the basics of the house done then i will start like going into stories and stuff because i don't have to like narrate doing the basics you know they are mowing the lawn there's like kids screaming outside and i'm just gonna start going into the stories and now after i do the exterior because i do not want to like wait because if i do you know something loud could happen outside and i do not want this video to be really disrupted i normally record early but right now it's like almost four i do not know if i'm gonna have this video up today but people play music sometimes outside so let's hope that doesn't happen there's an actual chance someone could play WAP outside? That literally happened before when I was eating dinner one time, so let's just get into this. Okay, I am dumb. Okay, so let's start off with this. 
I am dumb. So like my audio in these videos, you know, I'm still pretty new to YouTube. So I am like trying to find the best settings and like stuff like that, you know, so my videos sound the best, you know, um, and like for like two videos, I just could not find out why my voice was like sounding really auto tuned. Like I didn't know why I thought like maybe it was the editor. Maybe I just did one of the settings wrong. And then I look into one of the settings I was using and it was literally auto-tuned in a different name, so, um, it clearly did not work out well, but this house is, like, looking really cute, actually. Um, I'm gonna add some brick to it. I'm kind of scared. I do not think I have as many stories as I thought I did. But so the next thing I want to talk about is, like, my uploading, because as you can see, like, I didn't upload for a couple of days. Like, so, like, I normally upload every one to two days, but, like, I just thought that, that was a little too much for me. I didn't really have the time to, like, make a video over the weekend. Um, and for once, I finally had the time to, like, be able to build, play The Sims, all that stuff, which I want to do. Um, I'm going to add some more linen outside. I think it needs it. But anyways, I'm thinking that I'm going to upload a bit less on the channel. Like, instead of, like, they'll upload... Uh like, instead of uploading almost daily, I think I'm just gonna upload, like, once every two or three days, you know? I think that's just what's best, so I have some free time, especially when school goes, like, when I have to go back to school. I am scared for going back to school. Oh, no. Um... And of course, they are mowing again, but I really don't know what else to talk about. I think I thought I had some stories for this, um... I do not think I am like cut out for that Sims kind of type of content where you talk, where you just talk about random stories while building. So I'm gonna go back to speaking about this build so it isn't just silent. It is so loud outside, I am gonna hope my editing software does its job, but it is finally getting brighter outside, so now I can start with the landscaping and stuff like that. So first off, I think I'm gonna make another one of these paths. 2,000 years later. So and now I'm gonna start with like the bushes and trees and stuff. So something I see a lot of aesthetic -y builders you like do is that they will... One, they use like a lot of rocks, I think, but two, I think that they use like a lot of like light plants and also they they use like a ton of pink trees and stuff like that to make it look a bit more blush. So that is what I'm going to be doing just to make it look a bit better. I am not the best with this type of landscaping, so um, let's just try it. And of course it's raining, but I think I'm just going to add some trees. I don't know, I feel like it could use a little more of something, but I'll just be back once I'm finished. 2,000 years later. Okay, I'm back and I made this house look so pretty in my opinion, look at it. So I added some vines, some more like plants. I forgot these ground plants existed. Um, did anyone else forget about those? I tried using these lanterns as as like garden lights for the floor. I don't know if they look that good, but I like them. I also tried to use like these flowers outside. I think that they look really nice from afar, but they look a bit rough when you get close to them. I added a little fountain and I think that this just looks so cute. I was not expecting this to look so good. Um, Maybe I should put like this more often, but okay cute but anyways i love how this house looks i was like concerned about it i thought it would be a little rough but i'm really liking it whoa i hope y'all will really enjoy this house but now i'm gonna start working on the inside it's already 18,000. i thought this was gonna be kind of budget-y but it doesn't look like it i don't think it'll be too crazy expensive because this isn't like that big of a home, like look inside, this is not like that spacious, you know? But it has like enough space for like a few bedrooms. It'll be like, all right for a family home. Okay, so like this can be a bedroom here. This can be like a master bedroom. Oop, it's raining and it is lagging me, but maybe there can be a master bedroom. I mean, a master bathroom here a family bath and all right now i think i got the upstairs floor plan okay so i got the floor plan laid out so i'm thinking that this will be a like living and dining area over here there'll be a kitchen here with a like 
with a little um like laundry area here and this area will be like an office ish area and there'll be the door to the outside like here so this will be a nice pretty like not that small actually like a decent size little family home it'll only i think i'll have a bunk bed so it will only fit like three people or two kids but i think that's enough for like a little basic small home you know okay the rain stopped but i'm not sure how i'm gonna do blush inside i will need a lot of decals but yeah i think i'm gonna have a cute fireplace here and yeah budgeting has just kind of like i'm not gonna budget this home i'm just gonna try to make it look really nice i think that's more important and i think that i'm just gonna try to like get the basics down of building a blush home and and then i'll probably just skip to the end of building or maybe speed it up or something like that of course i'll use these linen colored floors what aesthetic house would this this be without them um but yeah i'll start with the basics the windows trim you know all that stuff Okay, I'm back. I got some inspiration. I did the basics. Kind of. <laughs> these walls aren't painted. The doors aren't painted. Um, let me just paint these walls so that the living room doesn't look weird. Um... Oop, I cannot talk for long. It is getting kind of late. Well, in real life. But yeah, I looked for it in some inspiration. I kind of got a little idea of what to do for it. And I will be back once I'm done with a tour. 2,000 years later. Hey, besties. So I'm back and it's like the next day in real life. I thought this would be more of just like a little, you know, take a few hours type build, you know, not be that expensive. And it was not. This is like a really detailed home. I put a lot of detail in it, which made it 107k. So yeah, this is like way more expensive than I thought. Whoa. But I think that this build is so pretty, so I will show y'all around. I even put detail on the mailbox area, but so yeah, I just have a little street sign. I did not know you could put vines on the mailbox, but yeah, I think that looks cute. And I'll just put it on the marketplace with this sign. But yeah, I made this a path which leads up to the home. I added some detail off camera like this little thing, you know, the little window thing. That's actually a doghouse with some details on it. I made a little custom orange tree. Those are soccer balls. Um, but yeah, there is a little garage area here. It's not that detailed, but it's just a garage. But now I'll show you inside the house. It looks really cozy and I tried to make it really detailed. So oop, I am going back. But here is the like little living and office area i love the details up here and the office area i think is really cute but over here is this a little like dining area it's really small but it looks cute i'd say and over here is the kitchen area kitchens are really hard to make look like aesthetic -y, in my opinion but i like it i think it looks nice and in here there is a little laundry area and i love the backyard so i just have a little like swing thingy a little gate leading out to nothing um and a little barbecue area and then like an arch which leads to the front of the house but i love how this home looks from the back look at it i think i made it look so nice another little orange tree so yeah, this house may be way more expensive, but I think it's worth it. It's really pretty, but let's go upstairs. There is two bedrooms upstairs, so little hall area. Um, Here is the first bedroom. It's a kid's bedroom, and I really like it. I made this like little custom cubby thing, I guess. And yeah, I really like the decals I chose. And over here, this is the main bedroom. Very pinky, very blush with the wallpaper and everything. There's a little vanity. A little custom closet, of course, and in here is the master bathroom. I think that this looks so nice. I really like it. But there is another bathroom, which I'll show you. It's just a little bathroom. It's so tiny, but yeah, this is this is it for the house. And oh, my throat is kind of started to hurt. But yeah, this house is going on the marketplace. The code will be in the description. So yeah, this is it on the marketplace. I think it looks so nice. But anyways, again, my fit is atrocious. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do like all the youtube -y stuff. Like, subscribe, comment if you think I should do any other styles and try to build a house with those styles. Comment any recommendations, whatever. But yeah, I am gonna go now. My throat's kind of starting to hurt. So yeah, see ya.